live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite cities of all time. This is SmackDown Live. I am Tommy Black, the voice of this beautiful channel, and look at this beautiful crowd we got here. They are a thousands of screaming Philadelphia natives ready for some action here tonight where our main event, the Cruiserweight Championship, is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. It is one thing you will not want to miss. Speaking of the Cruiserweight Championship, our Cruiserweight Champion is here tonight. He's going to be expressing his thoughts heading into his match against the against Tony Nese. Jake Atlas crowned the Cruiserweight Champion at NXT TakeOver Dallas 2. And, obviously, because NXT isn't around anymore, obviously, because NXT isn't around anymore, we brought back the Cruiserweight title to SmackDown. Let's go to the ring. I've always said that Jake Atlas has a promising future, and he did it at TakeOver Dallas. He's been a phenomenal Cruiserweight Champion. And I wouldn't ask for a better Cruiserweight Champion. He is the epitome of a Cruiserweight. And I love watching him perform. I've been watching him since the Independence. And I fought to the very bloody end when NXT was on the air that he was crowned the Cruiserweight Champion, that he was the rightful heir to the Cruiserweight title. smoke before we get to tonight's action. It's going to be a little bit of a unique night, but I guarantee you it's going to be fun. Uh, I want to thank everybody for slowly coming in the door. Hello, hello, Damian Punk Rocker. Everybody's starting to pour, and they know where the action takes place right here on Order Entertainment Enterprise. I'm dealing with a small headache today, but I will live. We've got caffeine right here. He's not wrong when he's talking about the present and the future of this company. This young man grew from the independence, came to the WWE, participated in NXT. Overcame the odds at the GM, actually the GM that's currently in charge of SmackDown, Mr. Paul V. Riley. Give some love to him as well. Apparently he stole the Cult of Heroes tele uh, uh, devices. I don't know, he might be sneaking into their lair or whatnot. And he shrunk his sofa and put it underneath his sofa. How amazing. Nonetheless, overcame Jake Atlas overcame the odds that the GM was putting in front of him, and he's looking to prove why tonight that he is the only cruiserweight champion that you should be talking about. Forget about Triple A. This is the man you need to be talking about, Jake Atlas. But nonetheless, we are going to kick off the night what is going to be a hell of a matchup. Poof. Also want to give a shout out yesterday to none other than Muhammad underscore Dimax. I don't know who that is, but thank you for tuning in. But starting the night off, we got some women's tag team action coming your way. The Kabuki Warriors going up against uh, Nia Jax and Tamina Snuka. What a unique team, but they are a great team. Both of them coming from the same heritage. Both of them have very familiar history when it comes to the lineage and history of professional wrestling. Second gener or generational superstars going up against two of the best Joshi competitors in the industry. Let's go to the ring.
And here they come. Look at Kyrie Sane and Oscar. I want their coach. Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. How's your hip? champion, a former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion making her way to the ring. Yes, you are, monster. Seems the viewer count is off. She is the daughter of the legendary Jimmy the Superfly Snooker. Former WWE uh, women's a women's tag team champion in her own right. Not a former, but a women's women's tag team champ. To be honest, I think she's gonna be carrying this team. That's all I gotta say about Tamina Snooker. Hell of an athlete, and she has paid her dues here in the WWE right now. Oscar starting out against Noya Jax. God, please be careful. Good job right there by Oscar. Oh, and she takes her right down to a knee here. She goes. Oh. Oh. Going for it again. Good grab. Now Asuka taking the forearm, maybe a slap or two, and a headbutt right there by Nia Jax. Going for it here. Got her rat, got her carrying her and placing it, placing her right across the knee of Nia Jax. Hopefully she takes care of her opponents and doesn't try to damage her. Here's the tag into Tamina Snuka. Tamina Snuka paid her, has paid her dues here in the WWE yet to win herself some singles goal, and I hope that day comes soon, ladies and gentlemen. Tamina Snuka might do the one thing that her father couldn't do, and that is win a singles title here in the WWE. Great arm drag coming out of Tamina Snuka. Look at him run right up. Good reverse. Beautiful spinning back fist coming out of Asuka. Going to send her off the ropes again. Here she goes. Reversal there back to the midsection. Look at him. Oh, wait a minute. Slowly. Making her way over to Asuka, slinging her into the corner. Looking to tag, no ma'am. Not with Asuka here. Oh! What are you talking about? Just because her toes were tickling the ropes? Ridiculous, into the corner. Let's see what we got going on here. Here's the tag of the Kyrie Sane. Here's the snap there, Kyrie Sane running right on. A beautiful rolling next snap, and there's a kick right to the back. That is what I'm talking about. I love watching the Kabuki Warriors work into the cover here on Tamina, and there's the kick out. Kyrie Sane taking the knee right to the back. Away from Nia Jax, please. Tamina Snuka stepping up. There's the knee to the face of the former Raw Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Champion. Why would you tag her in? Oh, wait a minute. Here she goes again. And there's a sidewalk slam coming out of Nia Jax. Told you to keep her away from Nia. What are you doing? Oh, what a drop kick. She ain't going down. Oh, rolling her up. Good work here, Kyrie. Oh, could have had the win right there. Good job. Oh, there she goes. Can she get her? There's a lot of strength behind that hip toss. Kyrie Singh looking for the tag. 
They're going to come right back in. Let's see what we got. Kyrie Sane. Grabbing right at the heads. What are you doing? Getting in the corner. She's looking for it. Oh! Look at Oscar going. Kyrie just tossing Nia Jax right there. And now taking some blows right to the knees. Oh my God, what a strike. In for the cover. Does Asuka have the win? I feel like that Nia Jax may be knocked out. And the big woman just kicked right on out. Went to go to the kick. Good job getting out of the way of that. Turn around here by Asuka. Asuka going for the backslide into the pin. Trying to get the win here quickly. No, and Nia Jax kicks out. Now they're at a standstill. Asuka coming up. Oh! Keeping her away from her tag team partner. Or trying to, at least. Good stomp right there. Oops. Going for the kick. Turn around there by Nia Jax. Or by Asuka. Now she's focused on Tamina. Trying to get to the top rope, but I think Tamina might be in the way. Running right up to the top. Nia Jax up to her feet. Here she goes. Connecting. Beautifully done. Lord have mercy. I mean, Tamina was in the way. She couldn't get the job done. And off the rope she goes. Oh, my there goes Nia to the floor. Good kick. Oh, what is Asuka doing? Can't really get a good camera view right there. Great job there, the referees. Making the count. Great fireman's carry takedown there by Nia Jack. Beautiful slugging ball. Up and over goes Asuka. Gonna run on up. There's a drop kick by Asuka. This is why she is known as the Empress of Tomorrow. This is why she was the longest reigning NXT Women's Champion to date. Stepping on out. Beautifully done. Oops. Taking right to the back of the head. What is Tamina going to do? Setting her right into the barricade. Here she goes. Oh! Good job right there. Going for the kick. Stepping on down. Lighting up Nia Jax's chest like it's the 4th of July, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking of the 4th of July, you will not want to miss Wrestle Kingdom this weekend at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. Here on Order Entertainment Enterprise. Here's the tag. Kyrie Sane looking to get a piece. Nia Jax is lifeless. But Kyrie, oh, right there tonight. Trying to go for the leg. Kicking Kyrie Sane right on up onto the hard floor. God, she felt that. I hope her neck's all right. Good turnaround there by Kyrie Sane. The Buki Warriors, the number one contenders to the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. Oh! After the damage she has taken, she might get the win here. Two! Two. And the kick out by Nia Jax. No thanks to Tamina Snooker, who almost kicked the hell right out of the back of the head of the referee. And off the rope she goes. Got her with a drop kick. What a match to kick off the night here on SmackDown. Nia Jax down the turnaround. Kyrie Sane with the reversal, and there's a spear. Can she make it? No, and Kyrie Sane right on top of her. Right on top of the action. And over the rope she goes. One more time for the measure. Oh! What's she doing with Tamina? Good maneuver. Kyrie Sane looking to fly. Got to focus on Nia Jax here. Oh, what is she doing? this. Oh, with the stiffest of all uppercuts right to the back of Asuka's head. Here she goes. Turns it around. Good kick. Asuka going up into the mention. No good driver. And in for the cover on Tamina Stucker. One. And the kick out there by the daughter of the legendary 
Jimmy the Superfly Snooker. Into that corner. Tamina turning it around on her. Oh my God! Oh, she's dragging her away. Going for the cover. The ref. One. Oh, and the save. I say looking to take a piece, and there's a loop. This press to Tamina. What a match! as they headed to their WWE Women's Tag Team title match. Ooh, small headache. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, I have a small headache. We got a whole lot of great matches coming your way here tonight, including this one coming up. Woo! Sweat my ass off. Oh, and speaking of a good match, we got literally a test of strength between these two. Matt Riddle, test of strength, keeping it ground-based with that UFC background, going up against a man who... Pretty much it's the same thing, a submission magician, a p one of the pound for pound, one of the strongest men in the WWE locker room, uh, Raw and SmackDown, Cesaro, a man who has paid his dues as well. 
Ow, my head. But anyway, let's go to the ring and see if Cesaro is, once again, gonna pay his dues. Oh, here we go, this music so loud I can barely hear it. Here comes the king of bros, the bro of bros, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle. Hope he's not, uh, thank God he's not riding that goddamn scooter. Look at Matt Riddle. I mean, loved his UFC career. Love his choices in smoking pot. How you doing? Hell, oh, he's the one who provided me with it. Love being live here. I love being in Philadelphia. These are some angry motherfuckers and they love the violence. Just the same with me. Cesaro, surprised he's not coming up with Sheamus. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell is Matt Riddle doing? Cesaro making his way to the ring. Matt Riddle is waiting patiently inside the ring. Oh, they're gonna brawl right on the outside. Oh, what an uppercut! Good God! That was lovely! That was lovely. Beautifully executed Cesaro looking to get the business to him. Oh, what a suplex. It was a cover here on Riddle and he kicked right on out. God, I love Cesaro. And we all love Cesaro. One of the best to do it. Got him in a cross jacket. We're going to hoist him up into the power bomb. That's what I'm talking about. One of the pound for pound. One of the strongest athletes on this roster. Has to be the strongest athlete on this roster. Wasted him up. Look at that power display. Oh, what a gut buster to the midsection of Matt Riddle. Here goes Cesaro. Put around there by Master who's slugging low way to the back. Turn around once again. Claudio. That's what I used to call him. Good turnaround. There's Matt Riddle. What's the hoist him up? Oh, he got him right on the back of that beautiful German suplex. Turn around there by Cesaro. We're gonna go for it here. Got him by the neck. What a suplex. I think that would make the human suplex machine Taz drool a bit. Got him off the ropes. Dropped down there by Cesaro. Good leapfrog. He's gonna waste him. Kick there by Riddle. Hope he cut his toenails. That would slice a motherfucker up. Right hand there by Matt Riddle. What a battle. Already here. And off into the corner goes Cesaro at full speed. Right here, Matt Riddle looking to showcase his strength. Wait, he's not letting up whatsoever. Look at Riddle go as he got up on the midsection. There's another gut wrench, and Matt Riddle still not giving an inch, bitch, as he got him right there. Beautifully done. Oh, that UFC style on display, ground and pound, is the name of the game for Matt Riddle. Look at him go, taking those stiff elbows, stiff right hands, right to the face of Cesaro. And Cesaro really needs to come up with a game plan. There's a submission game coming out of Matt Riddle. Going for it here. Now he's trying to tap out Cesaro here in the early parts. But Cesaro looking to fight back on through. That's the strength of display. Elbows going right into the face of Riddle. Cesaro trying to come up with a game plan. Here he goes. Good snap suplex. Oh, 
God. Great leg drop as Cesaro goes for the cover to try to get the win. Now Cesaro here on Auto Entertainment, former Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh yeah, what's going on? Little psycho. Now Cesaro is just unloading on Riddle. God damn a pair. And there he goes, what an uppercut. He is dazed and confused, ladies and gentlemen. Right hand there by Cesaro. Into the corner. Oh, wait. Trying to go with the right hand now. Riddle trying to get around. Going for the chop. No, sir. Land bam. Thank you, man. Going for the trash jacket once again. Cesaro. Got him here. Good night. What a cover. What? And the kick out. Riddle's lifeless. Hell, I think his mom was lifeless. Good fireman's carry takedown. Sending him off into the corners. Matt Riddle eating the top turnbuckle. God, that's bouncing more than a stripper's titties in Las Vegas. Off! For the cover. One! And the kick out there by Matthew fucking Riddle. Over the ropes, he goes right here. Went to go for the uppercut. Getting out of the way. Riddle moved like a goddamn... Or Riddle fucked up. He's got him by the throat. Oh! What an uppercut! Look at Cesaro. Who are you pointing at? Cesaro cinching on that Riddle here. Looking for it. Off! Oh. What an uppercut of Cesaro looks to fly that big man. Not much of a high fire, but he's got, he's got to get the job done. He's got to figure out something dig down deep in the well to defeat Matt Riddle. And there he goes with a double axe handle. We're going to go for it here. He's got him ready to do a torture rack. Oh, crap. What a slam. As once again, he goes for the right drop. Riddle's 
missed it wide open and went to go to the big boot. And off of the ropes it goes. Got, oh, and Riddle has them scouting. The ropes are there by Cesaro. Going for the kick. Got him here in the underhook. Cesaro showcasing that strength right now. Beautifully done. Cesaro, what a win. That's all you can do right now is just applaud. But coming up next, folks, it's only going to get better from here, and I promise. I mean, I'm, I'm sure right now that Riddle and Cesaro just stole the show. But, coming up. 
right, so I do follow Mr. Colonel Fancy here. That's good to know. That is good to know. But coming up next, we got, speaking of cruiserweight action, we got Mustafa Ali about to square off with Leo Rush. Hey, thank you for the bits, buddy. Holy cow. But Leo Rush, Mustafa Ali, both former cruiserweight champions. Who walks out with it? Let's go to the ring. Thank you for the mat. Thank you for the bits. I, I, like I said, I feel it's going to get better from here. Here he is, Mustafa Ali. This man put on bangers with Buddy Murphy surrounding the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. This man here in Order Entertainment is a former United States Champion. And at one point, he held the hardcore title before it was unified with the United States title. Four people here. So that viewer count is off. Look at Leo Rush. Now we cannot knock the skills and the high flying ability of Leo Rush. You can check out his time in Ring of Honor when he was in the television championship showcase. Never held the title, sadly. This young man held the Cruiserweight title once or twice in his career. We're going to get his hands back on Metter, the United States Championship here on SmackDown Live. And now my headache's gone. One sip of caffeine and my headache's gone. Look at Leo Rush. Had a cup of coffee in AEW. Let's not forget about that. Let's see who walks up with the win here tonight. Ring the damn bell. That got that headbutt. Oh, we're gonna see a call and elbow. Good elbow. Leo Rush turning it around. Good kick to the midsection. Reversal there by Leo, or I'm sorry, by Mustafa Ali. Already getting ahead of myself. Mustafa with a kick to the back. This young man, Mustafa Ali, has a bright future ahead of him here in professional wrestling. Drop down there by Ali. Good lead. Keep it going. Here we go. Up and around the world. Mustafa Ali with a DDT of the Cruiserweight division here on SmackDown. This is what I'm talking about. You cannot doubt the Cruiserweight division. And off the ropes again goes Leo Rush. Got the drop kick. And now go for the cover. Can he get the quick win? That may have rattled Leo Rush just a bit, but there's a kick out there by the former Cruiserweight champion. The forearm. Going for it again. Tried the elbow. Leo Rush looking a bit beat up. What's he looking to do? Stop Ali. We're going to take this on the outside. Oh, my God. Sunset flip Leo Rush right under the floor. Got him into the barricade. Mustafa Ali cinching him up. What a brutal snap suplex right out on the floor. Uh, that'll be felt in the morning. Oh, wait a minute. Leo Rush with a kick. Good reversal. As now Leo Rush tries to create an opening here in the match. Driving Mustafa Ali's face first into the apron. Oh, wait a minute. They need to break the referee's count at some point. Ali starting to fight back, taking the elbows right to the abdomen, right to the midsection of Leo Rush. Leo Rush getting sailed right back into the ring. Going to fly right back in. Leo Rush stepping up. Oh, wait a minute. Getting out of the way of the drop kick. Backing right on up. Reversal there by Ali. Going for the kick. Wait a minute. Leo Rush caught a beautiful backbreaker. Now Leo Rush, as I said, has been trying to create an opening since the beginning of this match. Driving a face first, with, or driving him into the canvas with a beautiful inverted. 
Gonna go for it. Leo Rush going for the cover. Can he get the win? No, not at all. Ali still in this. This young man's a fighter. Both of these men have a lot of heart when it comes to professional wrestling. Showing a lot of motivation in each and every match that they're in. This is what I'm talking about. It's now Ali looks to head right up. Oh, missing the swanton as Leo Rush moves out of the way. Reversal there by Mustafa Ali. Stepping right up. Oh, wait, get a close line there by Leo Rush. Would you look at that? I have a proposition for you, too. Let's see what you got. Good drop kick there by Leo Rush. <laughs> Into the corner. Goes Ali. Oh, what a splash there by Leo. Oh, wait a minute. What's the kick? Oh, good night. Oh, and Ali's back up. Looking to run up at full speed. Beautiful by the Kamala. Beautifully done. Leo. Oh, wait a minute. In the middle of this, what a bulldog, beautiful. And Ali taking the knee right to the back. Mikey starts. What's going on? What's going on, MWO? Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to send him up. Trying to kill it. No, sir. Ali looking to fly. Oh, what a drop catch. This is beautiful. It's like poetry in motion. Ali's up on top. Can he fly? Oh, what a cross body as he goes on the cover. Does he handle the little Leo Rush here on SmackDown? Two in the kick right on up by the man of the hour. Stepping up. Good drop kick. What is this proposition you have for us here at Order Entertainment? I would love to hear that. Here goes Mustafa Ali. Stepping up to the middle rope. Right into the tornado DDT. Once again. Good reversal. Not gonna run up. Reversal once again. Up the ropes. Stepping up here. God, I love it. And he is praying to the gods. God, he is showcasing why he belongs at the top of the mountain here in SmackDown. Good chop. Chop again by Leo Rush. Now he's chopping him here. Left and right. Segments on MWO. Oh, 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 you don't have to tell me twice, buddy. Here he goes. Oh, oh. I don't know what happened to Ali. Poison run on my hand by Ali. Holy cow. Here he goes. Ali looking to switch him up. God, he connected right there. That means I will start moving. That means we will have, we will talk about this act. I am not saying yes, I am not saying no. People will have to just wait and find out what's going on, Ryan. Thank you for tuning in. What's going on, man? Oh, Ali stepping up. Right from the top. Frank and Mikey Pye. Who stop, Ali? Go for it there. Good kick to the midsection. Look at him run up. No cross, no cross body. I'm sorry. As now Ali looks to cinch up. Leo Rush here. Oh, what a reversal. Into the beautiful vertical suplex. What a back and forth battle between Leo Rush and Mustafa Ali. Two Cruiserweight champions going to battle here tonight on SmackDown Live. And you know what? I love it every day. What's this? Leo Rush? Look at that! Look at what Leo go! Oh, here we go! Look at a fly to the top, looking for the final hour! As... Oh, wait a minute, no, Leo's not looking for the final hour! He's sitting there taunting him as he's looking to fly! Oh, and he missed! Now Ali! Beautiful Frankenstein! I am adding him to the draw. Leo. Oh, one suplex. Leo Rush doesn't seem to be letting up. He's looking for a second. Oh, one more, and that'll be one of the best tributes I've seen to the late great Eddie Guerrero with the three of Eagles right there. Woo! He's lining up. 
Leo Rush winding him up. Reversal there. Good job. What a spinning heel. Out of the forearm. Ali tossing Rush right to the outside. <laughs> Very nice. What was that? That was brutal. Hitting him in the ring. Three. Ollie looking to go for it here. Rolling. Into the net breaker. For the cover. Why are you not counting? That final nail in the proverbial coffin. Yeah. And as he looks to go for it. Oh, five, four. Check out the replay. That was beautifully executed. Going to the angle to get the job done. That's how good the stuff Ali is. One, two, and good stuff for Ali. Walks away with the win. We gotta take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we are gonna be hearing from our WWE undisputed champion, the head of the table, and his pet walrus, I mean, uh, his advocate, Paul Heyman. Sorry. Oh. As he is looking to address this entire situation going on between him and Brock Lesnar. Him and Lesnar, we look at a revisit their old history, and we know we know that Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns have a brutal history surrounding the Universal Championship and any championship that either of those men have held. We will be back after these messages. Folks, look at Colonel Fancy here. I'm cheering bits because of how good matches are. You could go ahead, be like him, you know, subscribe. I don't know if he's a, subscri uh, he's a subscriber, but go ahead and subscribe for $4.99 a month. Hell, it's actually 20% off the actual retail price with, I don't know the fucking price. It's not telling me. But be like him and you can enjoy ad-free viewership here on Order Entertainment Enterprise. Plus, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can check out all the replays of our daily, or I'm sorry, our weekly episodic action. You can't go wrong here. And go ahead, be like Ryan, be like Dimax, follow. You never know what's going to pop up on this channel. Hell, maybe at the end of the week, we might do a little special surprise for each and every one of you. Anyway, let's go to the ring and hear from Roman. I'm sorry, his pet walrus. God damn it. Paul Heyman. That guy. Look at him. He's a smug prick. Uh, no, I have a lot of respect for Paul Heyman. One of the best talkers in the industry. But right now, it seems that Paul Heyman, he's not... Let me tell you something about Paul Heyman. He has never been one of the most loyal people in the world. You know, he has managed the guys, the likes of Ryback, CM Punk, The Undertaker. Lest we forget... Nine, lest we forget, he's also managed Stone Cold Steve Austin, part of the Dangerous Alliance. Follow the buzzards. Anyway, um, let's go here. I can list off many, many names that Paul Heyman has aligned himself 
To be honest, deep down in my heart, even though I talk shit about him, I'm a Heyman guy. I love Paul Heyman. He may have made some weird business tactics, you know, like checks and all that, but I still love the guy. He is He, he has the mind for it, and I love it. I love Paul Heyman. One of the best. One of the best on the mic. One of the best managers, a championship manager. I mean, look at, I mean, there was one at some point where he did not hold the title, and that was 911. Back in ECW, right at, uh, more or less, 9-1-1 was just a monster who came in and choked slam the living hell out of him. Man wanted to wrestle. Mm. Having me a cigarette now. Right now, it, it's true, and from what I'm seeing, Paul Heyman is proving his loyalty to Roman Reigns, but for some reason the other day, he came out with Brock Lesnar. So I'm trying to figure out that situation, and right now I hope that Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar are not trying to fight over the custody of Paul Heyman, because you know what? This is not Dominic Mysterio. Oh boy, wow, thank you all for tuning in, holy shit. Roman Reigns the head of the table. Definitely the head of the table. Has a hell of an advocate by his side. And I can guarantee you when him and Brock Lesnar meet at the Royal Rumble in two weeks time, it is going to be a bloodbath. It always is and it always will be. But coming up next, we got ourselves a hell of a tag team match. Actually, looking to produce, I mean, these are the four, Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champion, teaming up with the legendary Lita, who is a women, <laughs> I don't think the poll would, <laughs> wow, anyway, teaming up with the legendary Lita, a former women in her own right, which, I'm not going to lie, this is going to sound very cliche, but they're there, there's no friction between Lita and Lynch. There's actually a major sign of respect between the two. And I don't know about Ronda, Ronda Rousey and Mrs. Valkyrie over here. Now, Taya Valkyrie has one thing over Becky Lynch, and she has a victory. That is the one, one little piece, one little splinter in the ring of Becky Lynch. Three out of the four of these women are the number one contenders to the women's titles. What's going on, Dob Wrestling Messiah? Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for the follow. Holy cow. That was awesome. Appreciate it. Let's go to the ring for this tag team matchup. Defending her title against Ronda Rousey right before Clash of Champions. Coming away with a victory. That is a compliment there, Riot. That is a compliment. And speaking of compliments to have, to be on a team with Lita is the highest honor you can get. And here she comes without her thong. Yeah! Lita's ready to rock and roll. It has just gotten extreme here on SmackDown. Very nice. Very nice. 
Love this guy. Get and show some hey. Everybody who's here, go ahead, follow Mike World Order. Hell of a podcast, the MWO podcast. You can check out all the great people, all the all the great conversations that they have. Pardon my headache. Oh my lord. Let me talk. I got two words for you. Isn't it the isn't it the rated R superstar himself? But let me tell you something. I got two words for you, Edge. Matt freaking Hardy. And here comes the baddest woman on the planet. A mixed martial arts veteran was undefeated for years in UFC. Coming to the WWE, becoming a Raw Women's Champion, main evented WrestleMania 35 alongside Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Ronda Rousey, I mean, Lord Ronda has that look of determination on her face here tonight. And here she comes. The one woman who may, who definitely might have the number of Becky Lynch. Ugh. Has the number of Becky Lynch, and that is Taya Valkyrie, the wife of John Morrison, who is on Monday Night Raw. So they're not separated, I promise. Taya Valkyrie, after losing the Impact Knockouts Championship to Jordan Grace at Victory Road, wound up popping up on NXT before NXT closed the doors. But you know that our lovely GM Paul Riley snatched her right on up and brought her to SmackDown. Little did we know that she would snatch the gold, or would act, not snatch the gold, but would get a win over the reigning defending SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Especially if you have a sweet. I know I have one. What was that? Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank every single one of you for tuning in here tonight. You guys have been fantastic. You guys have been very interactive, and I'm loving every bit of it. If you'll excuse me, hopefully I'll set the goddamn... Oh, great coming on the tie-up. Ronda Rousey seems to have the upper hand here. Wait, Becky Lynch. Backing her off of the ropes. Good, good drop down there by the champ. Looking to get her here. Reversal there by Ronda Rousey. Quite a bloody history between the two. Ronda with a nice rolling clothesline. Up on her feet. Becky Lynch with a hell of a drop kick. Coming out of nowhere. Of course, Ronda and Lita do have quite a history. We're not going to talk about that history. Here's the tag. Let's see what we got. Lita and Becky looking to hoist them up. Hoist them right up on top. We're getting a double suplex, maybe. What's this? Oh Beautiful maneuver. Great teamwork coming out of Lita and Lynch. What? And the kick out there by the baddest woman on the planet. Lita looking to take control. Excuse me. Good rolling next step there. Now Lita, look at her back away from the corner, not a lot of room to work, and now she's working vintage. Team Extreme right there, shades of Jeff Hardy, looking to do it again. Maybe, no, and what a stop. Oh, if you'll excuse me, now Lita goes to roll her up. Hopefully she's not too close to the ropes, good pick out. I thought that was going to be a quick win, but apparently not. Lita, Lita went to go with the forearm. Reversal there by Ronda Rousey. Up and over goes Lita. Beautiful reversal, shoving her away. Looking to run right on up. Up and around the world goes Lita. Look at that. She's going to make that tag, but wait a minute. Lita right there, cutting her right on off. Now, lest we forget, Lita did team up with Trish, Trish Stratus in the finals of the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Title Tournament. Facing, oh, what's this? Shades of Team Extreme. Holy cow. Oh, now this match is getting out of control. It's right now. 
not only level, but this referee isn't even paying a look of attention. I'm pretty sure he's looking at the ass of Taya Valkyrie. If I was him, I would too. Team Extreme. <laughs> Reversal right there. Good job there. As now Ronda Rousey takes the elbow right to the face of Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch with the forearm. I can tell you that she needs to make a tag pad. And off the road she goes. Got with a single leg drop kick. I can't hear anybody. Good luck drop. And she's not finished. As Lynch runs up. Reversing the leg drop right there into another one. And going for the cover. This crowd is very much electric. Looks like Lita was trying to get in the ring. With forearm. Good turn around there by Ronda fucking Rousey. I went up and over. Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey. The chemistry is unmatched here. Good forearm. Going right for the legs. Looking to target him. Oh! Good job right there by Becky Lynch. Up on her feet. Good reversal there by Ronda Rousey. Good kick to the midsections. Taya does have some titties. She needs to defend them. Love smack the oh good, good job there. Keeps unloading. Missing wildly, and Becky gets out of the way of that. No more Becky's for you. One more time. Going for it again. Missing. Getting out of the way. Becky Lynch running right on up. Here she goes. What a DDT. Here's the tag of the leader. Let's see what we got going on here. Becky Lynch not leaving the ring right away. What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Good DDT. Well, can she make the tag? Here comes Taya Valkyrie. Let's see what we got here. Going for the spear. Lita back up on her feet. She's gonna go for it there. Good drop kick. Up again. And Lita getting squared away, but Lita's up on her feet. Here she goes. Went to go with the forearm. No dice whatsoever. Lita using the ropes. And a bit of leverage pulling right back on the... Right in the back, right there, and she goes for the cover here on Valkyrie. Shouldn't have gone for that. She hasn't taken a lot of damage. Right next snap. Good kick off there by Taya Valkyrie. Oof. Got a little bit of headache, ladies and gentlemen, so sorry if I'm not as loud as I normally am. Oh, wait a minute, step with a beautiful reversal. Oh, was insane as now. Lita steps up. Good suplex. Keeping her miles away from her tag team partner. That's great. That is great. Good chemistry coming out of Becky Lynch and Lita. I never thought they would be. They would click like this. Going for the snap. And there she goes again. For the cut. One. And the kick out there by the former Impact Knockouts champion. That's the thing about Order Entertainment. We're not afraid to list the athletes that they've had in other companies. Look at a hoister. Right up to the top rope. Here she comes. Beautiful maneuver there by Lita. As that Lita steps right on up. What a drop kick. Cutting her off. Good job. We better away from her tag team partner. Reversal there by Lee, or Taya Valkyrie. Reversal there by Lita. We're gonna send her right on off into the ropes. And then she goes with a spear of her own. One, and the kick right out of the hand. Into that corner. Going for the tag once again, but Taya Valkyrie knows better. Turn her up. Oh no. Please don't go buckle bombing people. Oh, and Lita doesn't have the strength. Valkyrie tossing her over into a back body drop. Good kick. There she goes with a nice arm drag. That would make Ricky the Dragon steamboat cream his pants. Oh, and what a splash. Oh, and getting out of the way of that. Oh, I thought we were going to see some knees. And there goes with a spear. Woo! Oh, what's this? Is she gonna tap her out? No, wait a minute. He's going right to the middle of that back right there. Here she goes again. Great snap suplex. 
There's a tag. Lita not getting out. Great chemistry between Lynch and Lita. But never in a million years would I think that these two. Oh. oh, wait a minute. She just launched her. Becky's up on her feet. Where's she going right for Ronda Rousey? She's looking to cinch her up here. Can she do it? Good night. Here, 
job. But Becky Lynch will get a censure. Beautiful slam. Mm -mm. She's looking for it again. For another disarmer. For another disarmer. Look at a snap her arm right here. Look at a snap her arm right in two. Can she do it? Can she do it? God damn it. Oh, no, 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 no,
between the four competitors who were competing for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Great chemistry between Lita and Becky Lynch. Now coming up next. Woo! Why am I sweating so? Shut up! Why the hell does Slater always leave the goddamn... Oh, coming up next, the United States champion, Aleister Black, is about to square off with a very familiar foe that he met at WrestleMania over the Universal Championship. This time, now the shoe is on the other foot. It's a non-title matchup, Striker versus Tactician. He needs the hose. I believe it. The Tactician versus a Striker. The GOAT. Versus a striker. Let's go to the ring. And here he comes, the ominous man from Amsterdam, Alistair Black, our WWE United States Champion. I can finally get this damn cord out of my headset. And here he is rising from the pits of darkness. This man, one of the most lethal strikers I have ever laid my eyes on, Alistair Black, or many know him as Tommy End. Now proudly he's wearing the United States gold. Now as I said prior here on Order Entertainment, Alistair Black and Daniel Bryan met over the Universal title at WrestleMania here on Order Entertainment. And Alistair Black had his WrestleMania moment and walked out the Universal Champion. <laughs> I haven't seen him all day, actually. Yeah, it's, thank you, Mikey. Speaking of that, that has become an absolute blood war between Logan Slater and Aleister Black. Over the United States title, once former faction mates now become bitter rivals. Never in a million years, but I think that two best friends, two men who have traveled the road together, like Aleister Black and Logan Slater have, would become bitter enemies and just wanting to literally destroy each other and destroy the very beings that they are. Now Logan Slater has invoked his rematch clause in getting a shot at the United States title. Those two will meet at the Royal Rumble for the second time. But first, Alistair Black has got to deal with the leader of the Yes Movement, as many people would call him a goat. Do you hear this cry here in Philadelphia? The Yes Movement is alive. Truly don't. This is one of those days where I'm going into the literally going into this match blind. Whew. I heard Logan Slater was in India. But nonetheless, let's get this party started. Once a rematch from WrestleMania. Good elbow. Into the corner. There's unfinished business between these two. The referees in the way. Go kick by Daniel Bryan. Turn around there by Alistair Black. Turning around Daniel Bryan into the German. Wow. Not wasting any time showcasing his strength. Dragging him a bit away. Going right for the legs. Good stomp right onto the midsection. Right into the sternum, the chest cavity, if you will. 
They're going to go for the roll up. No, sir. Daniel Bryan taking him right on down. Good uppercut. Alistair standing there like a freaking toothpick in the wind. Good turnaround. Alistair Black turning it on him as he's looking to hoist it. Look at him, a back three. Beautifully done. Alistair Black dragging him here. There's a stomp to the midsection. Beautifully done by the United States Championship. And once again, there's another one. Alistair giving him the business now. He's got him in the hammerlock. That ref was crushed. <laughs> Going for it again. Alistair Black trying to out-wrestle one of the greatest of all time, Daniel Bryan. Trying it again. Retching at the arm, retching at the shoulder. Beautiful job here by Alistair Black. Loving his tattoo work, by the way. Here he goes. Alistair Black cinching him up. Beautifully done. Oh, and there's that ominous pose. Maybe mock it. Logan Slater there a bit. Oof. Good punch. We're going to go for it again. Alistair Black with the kick. We're going to hoist him. Oh, wait a minute. No. Good maneuver right there as Alistair Black wants to go for the pin here in this non-title match. One, two, and Daniel Bryan with a kick out. Step up. Alistair got him with the moon so beautifully connected as now Alistair looks to fly. Oh, what's this? Oh, don't do that. Daniel Bryan right there. Oh, wait a minute. He's looking to go for the legs. Not enough. Alistair Black sending him into the corner. With the kick, right to that midsection. But Daniel Bryan looking to target that right, I'm sorry, left arm of Alistair Black. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. Daniel Bryan. Oh, wait a minute. Alistair flighting right on back. Looking to go up and around the world. Alistair Black for the healthy DDT. As he looks to go for the cover here on the leader of the S movement, who has not seemed to have the best of luck here lately. Two, and the kick out there by the leader of the S movement. Right off into the corner. Alistair Black looking to light him up, like the 4th of July, which is next Sunday, or this Sunday, I'm sorry. Oh, and there he goes with the boot wash right across the face. And running right off of the ropes. Here he goes. Oh, what a brutal kick to the side of the dome. Now he's going to have a headache just like I did. Looking to fly. And, oh, and the moonsault averted. Beautiful awareness coming out of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan trying to get him here. Alistair Black has him scouted. Their history dates back. Oh, and he missed. What an idiot. He missed like a damn goon, and there goes Daniel. What a brutal kick to the side of the head. Now Alistair Black looking to scream, aim, and fire here on SmackDown Live. Oh, my God. Putting his whole body on the line, and this is what I love about professional wrestling, putting their bodies on the line for our pure entertainment. Driving him right into the barricade. Alistair Black stitching of Daniel Bryan right up on the barricade. Good kick to the side of the head. Oh. Alistair's not giving an inch. Slowly running right back on in. Oh, that is the prelude to one of the most devastating kicks in pro wrestling. Here he goes with a black mass for the cover. One. with the kick out of the black mass. Unbelievable. We're going to go for it. Alistair Black looking for those black outstretched with an elbow. Kicking him down with a knee to the face. Alistair Black looking to try him once again. Praying to God that Daniel Bryan's not that cold that he's not. Oh, 
Oh, went to go with the punch. Right to that gut again, but Daniel Bryan not giving an inch. Look like another yes kick. Here he goes. Alistair Black scaling the ropes. What a kick to the chest. Looking to step up. Messing the most on as Daniel Bryan gets right out of the way. Now Daniel Bryan looking to target the leg, knowing that he uses his legs to hit that beautiful kick. Now it's the Black Mask. But Alistair Black back up on his feet. He's going to have to take a whole lot more damage than that. Here he goes with the kick once again. But Daniel Bryan get, getting right back up. Beautifully executed job. Break a good job by the leader of the S-Movement. Turning it around. Beautiful job there by Alistair Black. Turn around there by Daniel Bryan kicking the leg. Oh, wait a minute. Daniel Bryan looking to create that opening. As he's now bouncing his head in the corner like a basketball. Like he's LeBron James trying to win a final. Oh, good night. Good stop. It's now Daniel Bryan again looking to focus. Oh, he's trying to tap out Alistair Black. But Alistair Black looking to repeat what he did at WrestleMania. Oh, what's this? Oh, good God. Bring him around. Alistair Black with the back, back slide. How are you counting that as a rope break? As they're both standing toe to toe. What a cutter! Now he's looking to get it. Alistair Black to get the winner here in this non-title match on SmackDown. No! Into that corner. We're going to hoist up Daniel Bryan. He might be going for a ride. Alistair Black climb, looking to climb that turnbuckle like a tree in the wilderness. As he's cinching him up. Here he goes! What a super touch there by Alistair Black! Now look at Alistair Black ominously standing in the corner, waiting patiently for the leader of the Yes Movement to get his ass up on his feet. Beautiful knee strike! It's now Alistair sending Daniel Bryan off of the ropes. Brood! Oh, but he missed the Black Mask! And off of the ropes he goes! The whole kitchen sink right into the midsection. Now Alistair Black is just taunting the leader of the Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan. Here he goes again. Oh, and Alistair Black hits the floor. Wow. Daniel Bryan. We're going to make the comeback. Great way to create on a window of opportunity here on SmackDown Live. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to bring him back in. Alistair Black not giving an inch. Here he goes. Oh, what a knee. What a shin crusher. But Alistair Black getting taken right off of his feet. Beautifully done. Good work there by... Oh, what is that? Good punch. As now once again, Alistair Black is winding him up like the 4th of July. Picking him up. Good power bomb coming out of Alistair. Now one more time for good measure. Alistair Black lining up Daniel Bryan. Here he goes. Oh my God, what a black mass. For the cover, one, two. Oh my sweet Jesus. It I can't believe he's still in it. What does Alistair Black need to do to defeat Daniel Bryan? Oh, he's trying it again. Alistair Black still has one more Black Mass hitting in his arsenal. Stepping him up. Boom, shot the That man just ate his teeth and probably his tongue too. Good night. Alistair Black put it going down for the cover to get the win here tonight. And he got him. What a win. Hey, what the hell is he doing? What the hell is Alistair Black doing? I know that look! He is stomping a mud hole in Daniel Bryan! What the hell? What the hell? Unbelievable! What has gotten into this young man? This is not the same man that I remember in XWX! 
Something has come up close. I don't know what's going on with Alistair Black, but... Man, this is not the same Alistair Black. Oh my God. And something is not right inside the mind of Alistair Black. But I'm knowing Daniel Bryan and given the respect that Logan Slater has for Daniel Bryan, something needs to be done. Because Alistair Black has become a monster. Folks, we gotta take a quick commercial break. We're gonna have to get some medical staff here to check on Daniel Bryan. Oh my God, that is, that was not what I expected. Alistair Black, I mean, look at, look at the look on his face, ladies and gentlemen. This is not, this is not the man I remember. Let's move on. Oh, we got some more great matches coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, two more. I mean, look at this one. Now there's a stipulation. What a tag team match we got coming your way here. Now, I'm American Alpha reuniting in NXT, which is great to see. But now, now American Alpha do have a major, major opportunity here. If they can somehow, in some way, beat the Usos, our reigning defending WWE Tag Team Champions. Well, they may have a shot at the goal. Let's go to the ring. Look at how proudly they wear the WWE Tag Team Gold. That's a beautiful design, ain't it? They want fish in the house. They want fish. And here they come. shape that American Alpha is in. There's a whole lot of confidence since the last time we've seen him uh, before the recent um, I'll get that. Give me a minute. Since the last time they teamed together before the reunion. There we go. Jason Jordan, apparently the illegitimate son of Kurt Angle. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I just don't see it. I really don't. But Chad Gable starting out against Jay Uso. Let's see if he has what it takes to upset the Tribal Chiefs family here. Amateur wrestling background is going to be on display. Chad Gable, one of the most technical wrestlers on the SmackDown roster. Ripping hard. Oh, wait a minute, Uso, taking him right down. Good work there by Jimmy, or I'm sorry, Jay. The son of the legendary Rikishi, and I can guarantee you that he would be proud of his sons and how much they have accomplished in their WWE career. Good drop kick by Chad Gable. 
Hell, I haven't spoke to Rikishi in months. Here he goes. Chad Gable with a belly to belly to Jimmy Uso. Chad Gable looking to give, give it up here. Into the corner. Oh, wait, good turnaround there by Jay. Oh, and there goes Jason Jordan. Now Jason Jordan's all by himself. Now snap your fingers. Here he goes. Oh, great mic drop. Snap your fingers. You can do it all by yourself. Oh, wait, Chad Gable's up on top. We're looking at him. Get him here. God, what an arm drag. Both of them tag team specialists, both teams. Hell, tag team gold in their career. I mean, American Alpha, former NXT tag team champion, SmackDown tag team champions. Looking to get their hands on this gold as he goes for the snap suplex. Boy, and the kick out there by Jay Uso, as many would call him main event Jay. I think on the right hand, Jay moving out of the way there. Into the corner. Just a tag. Let's see what's going on here. Rushing right at the arm. What's this? Oh no, what is Jimmy doing? Oh my god! What a vicious attack on the left oh, leg of Chad Gable! That was insane. Into the corner he goes. Oh, and Jimmy is so dishing it right to Chad Gable. He is miles away from Jason Jordan. He can barely make the tag. As now Jimmy Uso looks to go for the cover here on Chadwell Gable. One, not even one. Chad Gable needed to regain himself. Jimmy Uso following right on behind. Here goes Chad Gable with a vicious suplex, dropping him square on his neck. Two. Look at a real Jimmy right back on in. Gable setting up Jimmy. Oh, and dishing it right across that top rope. Into the corner. Looking to make the tag. No, Jimmy is so reversing it here. Good reversal there by Chad Gable. Stepping right on up with a very unique flying head scissors. Chad Gable showing a bit of fatigue. He's taking a bit of an ass beat. Chad Gable look, was looking to step right on up. Jimmy Uso looking to send him into the corner, running at full speed. Getting out of the way just in time. Beautiful job there by Chad Gable with a drop kick. Beautiful opportunity to make the tag right now. Gingerly walking that way. His leg has got to be fucked up, ladies and gentlemen. What a maneuver coming out of the out of the Usos. Now Jason Jordan looking to take a take a bit of the action. What a German. Off of the ropes. Dropped down there by Jason Jordan. Good leapfrog by the kid. What? Oh, was looking to go for the drop kick with his Nikes. Uh oh. Here he goes. Uh oh, what a kick. And an uppercut to follow. Get him up on his feet. Good reversal. Good reversal. As he's going for it. Oh my! What a suplex! Got the right hand right there. Oops. Good reversal right there. Jimmy Uso. Going for it here. Oh, what a brutal knee! Now Jason Jordan's in a bit of trouble here. He's going for the cross face. Right here, close to the ropes as he's turning it around. Here he goes! Oh my! Jason Jordan. No one knows what the hell he's doing. Go for the cover, kid. What are you doing? I know Angle taught you better than that. I'm gonna step right on up. Oh, taking the elbows right to the shoulders. Brutal action. Right here, he is miles away from his tag team partner. Jay needs to make the tag. Oh, wait a minute. Jay Uso starting to come to life, going for the left leg into a single leg Boston Crab here as he is crawling his way right towards the ropes. Uh, can he make it? Is he going to tap out here early? No, he does not. Jason Jordan kicks him right off. He's looking to go for it. Let to go. Oh, whatever that was, he got the job done. Oh, 
Jason Jordan, and then the Olympic slam, got his Olympic. 
legitimate father would be drooling right now. Holy cow. Coming right up out of nowhere, into the cover. Chad Gable looking to get in. Can he make it? No, and he missed. He missed right there. Going to be for Jay. see in the chat I will give you a medical update here tonight about Daniel Bryan now Daniel Bryan as you've seen was maliciously attacked by Alistair Black after his match now I do have Logan in my ear saying that Daniel Bryan is on his way to a local medical facility we will keep you updated on the on the order entertainment enterprise Twitter page on the condition of Daniel Bryan now I'm not saying that he may that his career is over. It may be a minor injury. 
but Daniel Bryan, as it's looking, will not be able to compete by the time the Royal Rumble comes around. As I said, maybe. We'll just have to see. Coming up next, our main event of the evening, the Cruiserweight title is on the line. Jake Atlas looking to defend against the Mikey Whipwreck trained Tony Nese. Now, Tony Nese. This title has eluded his career. Tony Nese. Training in that legendary school, the Brooklyn Wrestling Academy. I think I said that wrong. You could shoot me later. Trained by the legendary ECW original Mikey Whipwreck, made his way to the WWE, has had a, a solid career. But this may be the big moment that he's looking for, ladies and gentlemen. This may be the moment where he finally becomes the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Let's go to the ring. And there's our ring announcer who's looking special with the microphone. And there he is. Now, as much Come over as here. I respect this trainer, he is one of the most arrogant son of a bitches I've ever this met. Right here. I mean, this look at how egotistical he is. And let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One, look at this. Two, Why three, is he ca four, he's counting. five, six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. That is ridiculous. That is arrogant. Look at him. I wish him the best of luck on anything he does, but I hate it. When arrogance just oozes out of somebody's body like that. Hope Jake Atlas kick, kicks his ass. And here's the man of the hour, the true man of the hour, Jake Atlas. Hey, at least he's not counting his abs, but he is proudly wearing that WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Obviously not. Okay. Look at Jake Atlas. There's the Cruiserweight title. Here we go. Look at the beauty of that title. And he does have an ego boost. Absolutely sickening. I mean, if he walks away with the Cruiserweight title tonight, then I will retract my statement. As I said before. Here's Tony, or Jake Atlas, I'm sorry. A Jake Atlas, a very agile cruiserweight. Cruiserweight here in the WWE, winning it at NXT before 
The door is closed down, but they're not going to get rid of the Cruiserweight title. The Cruiserweight title is still the Cruiserweight title. Not like it's brand split or anything. Here we go. Will this be the final night that Jake Atlas holds this beautiful Cruiserweight Championship? Oh boy, look at that Cruiserweight gold. Mm -mm -mm. That is what it's all about here in our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this Cruiserweight Showcase underway. Ring the damn bell. Jake Atlas, no slouch when it comes to his in-ring work. What an elbow. Right there, good reversal there by Tony Nese. Sending Atlas right over the ropes. Is he looking to do it here? Oh, Tony At Tony Nese. I almost called him Tony Atlas. Wrong guy. Oh, not getting up. Oh, no, he got up. Great striking ability. Loving the cruiserweight action. Into the corner goes Tony Nese. Beautiful up kick. Not going anywhere. As now Jake Atlas backs him into the corner, stepping up off of the ropes. That Lucha Libre on display. Beautiful maneuver there by Jake Atlas. Oh, wait a minute. Beautiful maneuver. Good elbow. And off the ropes goes Tony Nese. Good drop down right there. Nicely frog. Jake Atlas not giving an inch. Wait a minute, Tony Nese with the kick. Look at it run right on up. Let's go over the clothesline. Good reversal there by Jake Atlas. Stepping right off, right on up with a spinning heel kick and Jake Atlas on display. What's this? Going up and around the world, looking for the tornado. Wait a minute, the tornado pit apparently. One, two, and the kick out there by the half counting son of a bitch. Got his head. Reversal there by Tony Nese. No headlock. Reversal there by, ooh, wait a minute. Stepping up, good drop kick, and now Jake Atlas looks to scale to the top. Atlas looking to fly, oh, but he misses the corkscrew moonsault. Getting the knees up just in the nick of time. How many knees with the snap? As now he cranks right at the neck of one Jake Atlas. How many knees putting that strength on display? No, he doesn't need his abs, his abs for that. My God, Tony Nese may have the number of Jake Atlas. He goes for the cover to get the win. No, and Atlas kicks right on out. Good, good job right there. Who, is he yelling at him? Is he taunting the Cruiserweight Champion, the legend, the best Cruiserweight Champion I've seen in a while? I win a great kick to the left. Jake Atlas. Sending Nice into the corner as he now tries to showcase his strength as he puts it right up on top. Jake Atlas is definitely no slouch, climbing the turnbuckle like a tree. Here he goes, oh, breaking Mikey. Pulling off shades of Tony Nice's trainer, Mikey Whitbreck. Oh, good turn around there by Tony Nice. Shoving him off. Look at it run right up. Reversal there by Jake. Is now Jake. Heads off of the ropes. Here he goes. Drop kick right to the back. Beautiful job there by Jake Atlas. What a battle for this cruiserweight title. Jake seeming to line up Tony Knees here. He's looking to step right up. Got him here. Jake Atlas with a springboard bulldog. That may be the end of Tony Knees. Is now Jake Atlas looks like he's going for the cover, and he does. One and the kick out. Get that head over to front row material right after this main event. Hell, will we rating them? So go ahead and show them love. I do each and every week. What a German suplex. Great snap. One. And the kick out there by Tony motherfucking Nice. Good four. As now Jake Atlas looks to launch him right onto the floor. Jake Atlas descending off the ropes. Here he comes. Oh my God. Wait, Tony Nese bringing him right back in. Atlas slowly returning to his feet. Nese trying to take the clubbing blow. Here goes Tony Nese. Into a Mitchell. Good try. Is he going for the cover? No, 
Oh, he should have went for the cover when he hit the Michinoku driver. That was a bad mistake by Tomidius. As Jake Atlas goes for the kick up. Oh, good job. Look at him showing off. What a dick. Oh, wait a minute. He's going for the roll up. Does he have the win? Does he have the cruiserweight title? One. Oh my god, he did it! Tony Nese is the new cruiserweight champion! He did it! Oh my god! I may have to retract everything I just said, and I don't want to do that! We're just shown tonight. Folks, I am a man of my word. I always have been. Tony Nice finally just overcame his dreams and showed and just I have no words. I have nothing to say, but that I retract everything I just said. I hate doing that. Everybody knows that. Folks, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in here tonight to SmackDown tomorrow night. You will not want to miss AEW Dynamite right here on Order Entertainment. It is bound to be a great show for you fans at home. I will be sending all of you over to Front Row Material where Mike Freeland, the writ MWO and Moon Dog Murray are sitting on the pen. Good night, everybody. I have been Tommy Black. Oh my God. I can't believe I have to retract my statement.